Hello, my name is Michael Poor, and I'm part of the technical marketing team for VMware ARIA Guardrails. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to VMware ARIA Guardrails, one of the new solutions in VMware's ARIA suite. I will demonstrate how the fictional customer Moad can use VMware ARIA Guardrails to govern their AWS cloud accounts. The cloud operations team at Moad have tried to use the AWS well-architected framework to structure and configure their workloads in the AWS cloud. Demands from multiple development, business, and operations teams leave little breathing space for consistent governance across Moad's many cloud accounts. Moad has a multi-account strategy for their cloud accounts, providing clear security boundaries between different teams applications, and business functions. This strategy employs AWS organizations. Moad's AWS organization is split into multiple tiers as follows. There's a root level, a first level, and a second level. At the root level sits the management account. No workloads or applications are hosted in this account. Its function is purely administrative. Organization-wide policies are defined in this account. Management and configuration events from all Moad's AWS accounts are sent here, and all billing is owned by this account. At level one, there are multiple organizational units, or OUs. Separate OUs exist for different functions, applications, and teams. For this demonstration, we will concern ourselves only with the Sandbox OU. At level two in the Sandbox OU, is an OU dedicated to developers of the OpenCart application that Moad uses. This OU, as the naming suggests, is used to provide the OpenCart developers with resources to experiment with or try out new applications and cloud services before they become part of the OpenCart application. Within this OU, there is another AWS account for exactly that purpose. The OpenCart developers require broad administrative access to this account, but in the past there have been some challenges. Firstly, there's been a tendency to over-provision the size of EC2 instances, incurring increased costs for Moad. Secondly, several developers have used weak credentials for IAM user accounts and even removed password policies to enable them to do so. Thirdly, in one incident, the entire account was removed from AWS organizations, preventing the cloud operations team from managing it or having any oversight into it. The goals of the cloud operations team in this demonstration are threefold. One, implement a strong IAM user password policy on the account to prevent weak passwords from being used and prevent the policy from being disabled. Two, prevent the account from being removed from AWS organizations again. And three, prevent users in the account from creating over large EC2 instances and incurring high cloud costs. Both the management account and the OpenCart Sandbox account have been onboarded into VMware ARIA Hub by the cloud operations team. Now they are ready to use VMware ARIA guardrails to apply the policies needed. We're now looking at the VMware Guardrails Overview Dashboard. Here we can see information about the number and type of guardrails already applied to our cloud accounts. Moving to the template section, we can see several templates have been curated already and they are available for use. We can also access the template library, which we'll do later to import more templates. The first guardrail that we want has already been applied for us. It creates an OU attached to the root of Moad's organization called Sandbox. The guardrail is created from this template. By clicking on the template, we can see the associated desired states. There are several, but the key one is here. By selecting it, we can see the parameters that were supplied. The parent org ID matches the one from the slide, and the OU name is as expected. Because the OU currently exists in AWS, we wouldn't expect to see any findings against this guardrail unless someone or something renames the OU or changes the parent org ID. We're now going to repeat this process for the OpenCart OU by reusing the same template. 
This time, however, we'll specify the parent org ID and OU name differently. First, we select the template from our curated templates. Then we click the Apply Guardrails button. Our first selection is to which cloud account we apply the guardrail. The management account is selected. For the parameters, we can override the default desired state name to make it something meaningful. We then must set the parent org ID to that of the sandbox OU. Finally, we set the name of the OU to OpenCart and apply the guardrail. Once again, we wouldn't expect to see any findings against this guardrail unless someone or something renames the OU or changes the parent org ID. The third guardrail to be applied is slightly more complicated in that it contains two different states. The first state creates a service control policy or SCP in the organization to prevent member accounts from leaving the organization. The second state ensures that the SCP is attached to the root of the organization so that it is inherited by all child member accounts. Once again, the template being used has already been imported. And once again, the guardrail will be applied to MOAD's management account. For the desired state's parameters, we set the desired state name to something meaningful and set the organization unit ID to be the root of the organization. The guardrail to prevent users from creating overly large EC2 instances is similar in that it has two states, but we will apply it differently. The SCP is created in the organization as before, but this time we will apply the policy to the OpenCart OU. This means that only the OpenCart sandbox count will be affected by the policy. Another difference can be seen when the guardrail is applied. It is applied as before against the management account. However, the parameters for this guardrail are different. The first and simplest step is for us to set the OpenCart OU as the target for the policy to be attached. Next, we turn our attention to the array, or list, of EC2 instance types that will be denied by the policy. It seems to include everything by default. Let's remove some of the smaller instance types. Finally, we can apply the guardrail. This time, we will have some findings to examine. Let's go and look at them. The first finding relates to the SCP itself. There is a mismatch between the desired state and the current state. If we look at the differences, we can see that the policy already exists in AWS, but it includes some of the instances that we took out. Because the guardrail was created to monitor only, this difference will not be automatically remediated. The second finding relates to the attachment of the policy to the OpenCart OU. Currently, the policy is not attached and therefore will not apply to the OpenCart sandbox account. The final guardrail in this demonstration is applied directly to the OpenCart Sandbox account. It creates an IAM password policy in the account that all IAM users must adhere to. This time, before we can apply the guardrail, we must import the template required from the template library. First, we navigate to the template library. Then we must find the template that we want and select to import it. We're prompted to change the name of the imported template if we want to but we won't in this instance. The key action to take is to select the project that the OpenCart Sandbox account is part of. With the template imported, we can apply the guardrail to the account. This time we select the OpenCart Sandbox account and not the management account. The template parameters are different again with this template. There are a mixture of integers and booleans for the most part. Let's make sure that the password policy is strict enough to meet MOAD's security guidelines. When the guardrail is applied, there will be a finding generated again. Because the guardrail was applied in monitor-only mode, the IAM password policy is not created in the account. The finding will remain until that drift is remediated. That concludes this introduction to VMware ARIA guardrails. Please subscribe to the VMware Cloud Management channel or visit the Guardrails page on TechZone.